Welcome guys back to the channel. If you are watching this video, very likely you are here because after you replaced the injectors and you coded them in on your Ford 1.6 DCI Duratec or Duratorque engine, I'm not sure of the term, doesn't really matter. So basically, after you replaced one injector or maybe more or maybe all injectors and you coded them in, the engine is running a lot worse than it was before and don't worry, I know the solution, I'll tell you how to fix it and what, what is causing it, as I've been there myself. So basically, after the injector replacement and coding in it, um, the, you start up the car, it is running like crap, like old tractor, noisy, rattling, shaking, wants to jump out of the engine bay, it is smoking from the rear as well. So I'll tell you why it is happening and what the solution is. So I'm gonna, I'm, I have my scan tool connected to the car and I'll show you why it is happening. So when you code the new injectors or remanufactured injectors, doesn't matter to the ECU, it will reset these values, the pilot learning to zero, back to zero. And that's why you have that shakiness, rattling, smoking. So basically that diesel knock. Unfortunately, a very silly thing <clears throat> but there is no way how to do it on a diagnostic tool scan tool or computer as far as i know how to do that reset procedure or relearn procedure so now i will explain to you how to do it if you replace the injectors and you didn't code them in you very likely won't meet this issue or experience this issue it is only when you code them in because coding them in will reset those data which i just showed you so how to get back, uh, get them back to number seven again from zero. <clears throat> if you see my last video, I, I replaced the injectors and this is what happened to me when I coded them in, it went to zero. So what you need to do, there is a procedure called injector pilot relearn function or procedure. So what you need to do, you need to start up the car and take it for a test drive or a Revit or like let it idle it will run like crap and it will be very scary because it will make knocking noises as well and it will be smoking but you need to get the engine up to the operating temperature which is above 70 degrees or 80 degrees so once you got there unfortunately you will need to have some kind of diagnostic tool for that either diagnostic tool or a software on your laptop whatever but you will need to monitor the engine temperature and those four data points pids You'll need to constantly monitor them so maybe ask someone to go on a test drive with you who can hold the computer whilst you're driving and you can focus on the road because i don't know why but to be honest this is a very i dare to say it's a dangerous procedure because you need to do it on the road so i've done it in the night yesterday around midnight because there is the less of the cars or the least of the cars on the road so basically let me now finally tell you what you need to do so get the engine up to temperature let's say 80 degrees then you need to engage the third gear so you need to be in the third gear if it's manual obviously third gear if it's automatic you need to switch to manual mode and be in third gear and what you need to do you need to drive the car on the road and rev it up till 3000 rpm and then lift off your foot from the throttle from the accelerator and let it go down below 2000 i would say 1500 and you need to repeat this procedure um, as long as these numbers don't reach number seven so they will reach it like one by one so it will start doing injector number one so cylinder number one in my case when i was doing it i revved it up let it settle back to one point uh, one and a half thousand rpm and injector number one or cylinder number one jump to to four again with the next revving second cylinder jump to four and so on so forth so basically every like revving to three thousand and letting it drop back to one and a half thousand rpm done like uh, one learning so from it took me I, I would say 30 minutes to to get everything done so you need to have someone sitting next to you and checking those data and because you don't cannot interrupt it so you need to finish it until it reaches number seven and then it will smoothen out the idle 
and it will run perfect as it was before also fuel consumption will be back to, will be back to normal but i'll tell you it is a very scary procedure because you drive the car it will be smoking it will be rattling it will have the diesel knock i know it's very like a bad experience i don't know why they done it this way why is it the only way and i didn't even record the whole procedure because that was night like dark you wouldn't even see anything basically and also i didn't want to record drive it monitor it it's very dangerous so again get the car up to temperature let's say 80 degrees minimum engage third gear drive it on an empty road a long road where you can do it so basically rev the car up to 3000 and then lift off your foot you, you cannot even brake you need you can't touch anything obviously you need you can steer the car that's that's normal but you can't touch you can can't touch the clutch or can't press the clutch can't press the brake you need to let it drop back to one and a half thousand rpm and you will see on the scan tool that the numbers will start to move move up and finally they will reach all four they will reach the seven or the seventh position and yeah then you will know it will be fine um so yeah basically this is it this is how you do it this is how you do the injector pilot relearn procedure on these ford 1.6 engines duratec duratorque whatever that is please share this with other people because i know I, I i seen that on the forums they're they're having the same issue same experience they don't know what the solution is they can't imagine what they've done wrong if they did something wrong with the injector replacement or the coding wasn't successful or anything so so please share it with other people if if who's who's experiencing the same issue it would help them out help me out uh, growing my channel but yeah basically that was it in this video thank you guys very much for watching um take care and see you in the very next video and until then bye bye